Scientists have theorized that rapid eye movement during sleep could be someone gazing in the dream world. Others say it's just random movement. Researchers at the University of California, San Francisco believe they have the answer. We want to see how the activity of the brain during sleep correlates with the eye movements that occur during REM sleep. Researchers are using mice in their studies. The rodents are fitted with a hat filled with electrodes, while miniature cameras monitor the eyes. What's needed now is that brief moment when a furry creature falls into REM sleep. The brainwave or brain activity, uh, you can decode the where is a uh, animal's head direction or animal's heading is uh, during REM sleep. Although animal's head is not moving, you can decode so kind of uh, what's going on in the animal's uh, brain or can dream. The researchers compare the mouse's head direction cells with its eye movement. If the internal heading of the animal is turning to the left, as if the animal was dreaming of changing its heading to the left, then the eye movement during REM sleep are going to the left. This shows us that the rapid eye movement occurring during REM sleep are not just simply random eye movement. So it's navigating a dream. It's navigating a dream and you can see this navigation simply by looking at the eye movement. Professor Sconciani says the research here is also laying the groundwork for further exploration of the generative brain, that is, our ability to make up or even dream up objects and scenarios. By looking at how various parts of the brains are coordinated during REM sleep, we can understand uh, how our brain can take uh, various aspects uh, of the world that it has learned and put them together in a free set of combinations that are actually not existing in the world. And this is what we call creativity. Sconciani says researchers here will look to build on the findings by continuing to investigate how motor and sensory skills and even emotion coordinate with the dreaming brain. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.